Hi, I'm Anna Diamond from Palace Jewellery. Palace Jewellery is a wholesale e-com business based in Australia. We started over 20 years ago. It's been a really interesting, amazing, awesome, terrifying, exciting, brilliant business to be a part of. We manufacture in Indonesia, China and Italy. There's amazing teams over there. Most of our product is handcrafted in Indonesia and we have a long founded relationship with our most beautiful manufacturers there. And it still to this day remains one of the most beautiful places to visit. And I'm just so lucky that I get to run a business that's based on, in one of the most beautiful places on earth. That's Australia and Indonesia. We started in 1996 and started the business as an, a brand. So we found a niche in Australia, which was jewellery that sat between costume and fine. So there wasn't really anything on the market at the time. You could either buy throwaway jewellery or you had to invest in fine gold. So that gave us a niche. I was from a branding background and my sister Erin was a true artist. So she was the one that had a real passion for jewellery and was extremely clever exhibiting artists. She could draw, design anything. And um, she decided, look, let's, let's try for a jewellery brand. We were both working in our independent careers. I was working and living interstate. She was in Adelaide running an art school. I was working for a, an amazing branding company over there. Long story short, we created this brand. We traveled to Indonesia together. We set up manufacturers after a lot of trial and error, and we launched the brand in Sydney at a trade fair. That began the story of Palace. We started to supply independent retailers and gradually over the years, you know, walking the pavements ourselves with our little cases of samples, doing all the trade fairs ourselves, traveling overseas, managing all the manufacturing. We did everything as well as our own jobs. And about three years in, eventually making enough money that we could work in the businesses full time. And, and that was very exciting for us because we'd started from scratch. We borrowed money to do it. We were um, yeah, bootstrapping our own growth and enough that we weren't scared. <laughs> we didn't have children or families then. So we were just like, let's just go for it. What could go wrong? This could be so easy. And years in, the business had grown really well. We had three or 400 independent retailers. We were supplying overseas. We didn't have an e-com at that stage. Suddenly my sister, who was you know, the most beautiful ray of light, uh, if you've met her, you would absolutely love her. She, um, so positive, so strong, so amazing, extremely healthy, um, suddenly passed away from a brain aneurysm. So with no warning. So this was probably the first real life challenge that I'd ever had. And obviously that impacted the business. It was a major turn in life. Uh, and at the time I just wanted to run away from the business. It just was not something I felt like I wanted to continue. I had a young child, Lola, she was five and I was pregnant with my second daughter. And this business was my sole source of income. So as much as I wanted to run away, I couldn't and at the time it wasn't actually doing as well as it was we'd invested quite a bit of money overseas and that hadn't worked out and so we had a little bit of debt so i couldn't walk away and i guess that is where the blessing lay in the story is it forced me to gather all the strength i had deal with my own grief and turn the business around into something that i would love and that would honor my sister's life as well and that's what i did so the second stage of the business, so 10 years till now, was completely reinventing the business. So I'm not a designer as in the way that my sister was. So suddenly it was just me and I had to come up with product. Uh, so I dismantled the whole business. I whittled it down basically to myself and one bookkeeper and broke it all down again to build it back up into something completely new and different. And that became the structure was different, the product, everything. So from a product perspective, it all became jewellery with meaning. So because it was coming from my heart, my personal experiences, all of the mantras and all of the emotional connection that I was leaning on to get through my own grief, I started to put into the design. So charms with words of meaning and love and connection that you could give to someone going through grief or you could give to your mum so she knew how much you loved her and she could wear it close to her heart. All of these beautiful sentiments that were really helping me get through life, I started to put into the jewellery and, 
our stockists and the buyers at Trade Fairs absolutely loved it because there really wasn't anything like that on the market at the time. And we became known and are still known for jewellery with emotional connection, pieces that you can collect, inspire and share. That's the core of our brand. And I really refine that um, after Erin's passing and that is, is true to this day. And we stay in our lane on that. And, but all of the feeling and all of the emotional connection is genuine because it comes from my own beliefs. I design the pieces and they're all designed from inspiration, whether it's the joy that I get from being on the beach, traveling, or particular quotes that really resonate with me, or the beauty I see in life, in my friends, in my family. And I pour all of this into the brand. And fortunately, you all love it too. So that's been the absolute joy for me in building Palace. And it's brought us in touch with so many amazing people. We have a great team nationally, wonderful agents in each state, obviously our manufacturing, which I mentioned before, our head office team in Adelaide, all incredible people. And I've had a lot of people come and go within the last 20 odd years in the business, many of whom are still my very close friends and have all made their special mark on the brand. Um, it's certainly not something I've done solely on my own. And, you know, I'm really proud of where Palace is today.